Hey YouTube, this is Taylor coming to you from Portland, Oregon, making a set of video flashcards for Western Governors University's computer science program. This is for web development C779. This is chapter one, study cards for markup language and site development essentials. I'm going to just be reading the flashcards front and back and then going on to the next card. Here we go. So it's going to load. Uh, first card. Cascading Style Sheets, otherwise known as CSS. It's a technology that allows greater style definition and formatting control of HTML elements. Formatting can be placed within the HTML or called remotely from an external style sheet. Loading the next card here. That was CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. Cloud computing. This is software, infrastructure, and platform services that are hosted by a remote data center and provided to organizations or individuals over the internet. Document type definition, otherwise known as DTD, a set of rules contained in a simple text file that defines the structure, syntax, and vocabulary as it relates to tags and attributes for a corresponding document. Extensible Markup Language, XML. A markup language that describes document content instead of adding structure or formatting to a document content, a simplified version of SMGL. Graphical User Interface, otherwise known as a GUI. A program that provides visual navigation with menus and screen icons and performs automated functions when users click command buttons. Hypertext Markup Language, HTML. The traditional authoring language used to develop web pages for many applications. Markup Language. A series of commands used to format, organize, and describe information on a web page. Meta language, a language used for defining other languages. Multi purpose internet mail extensions, otherwise known as MIME. It's a protocol that enables operating systems to map file name extensions to corresponding applications also used by applications to automatically process files downloaded from the internet. On the fly. Dynamically created web page content as opposed to predefined static content. Software as a service, otherwise known as SAAS. Software that is hosted centrally on the internet and accessed by users with a web browser. Standard Generalized Markup Language, otherwise known as SGML. A meta language used to create other languages, including HTML and XHTML. Troll, a web user who publishes negative contents or submits feedback simply to annoy or express anger. Trouble Ticket, a record of a problem related to a service provider by an ISP or cloud service provider used to record receipt of a complaint and track resolution of the problem. User Agent, any application such as a web browser, mobile phone, smartphone, or help engine that renders HTML for display to users. Wire framing, the process of developing an outline for a web presence. That was chapter one of C779 web development at Western Governor University. The next video I will make is of the flashcards at the end of chapter two.